Welcome to Roblox Studio Learning Tutorial. In this lesson, we will be talking about the measures of central tendency. For today's lesson, our objectives are the following. Demonstrate understanding of the various measures of central tendency. Discuss the properties and use of the mean, median, and mode. And the third one, demonstrate skills in solving for the mean, median, and mode. The measures of central tendency are simple averages. There are things that you have to understand. First, it is a statistical measure describing a single value that is used to identify the centers of data. It tends to lie within the center of its range from lowest to highest or vice versa. And there are three common measures. These are the mean, median, and mode. Mean is the most common measure of central tendency and is also known as arithmetic average. So I have presented now the two formula for the mean. We have the population and sample mean. Mean John is the point that divides the scores in the distribution into two equal parts, where the scores are arranged according to magnitude. Mode, on the other hand, refers to the scores that occurred mostly in the distribution. This can be classified as unimodal for one mode, bimodal for two modes, and multimodal for more than two modes. The properties of the different measures of central tendency are the following. Mean is easy to compute. It can be subject for numerous mathematical combination, and this is most widely used. It's not easily affected by the extreme values and it is applied to interval level of data. Median, on the other hand, is the middlemost score in the distribution. Most appropriate to use when there are extreme scores. Median is not easily affected by the extreme values and it is applied to an ordinal level of data. Mode, on the other hand, is a nominal average. It is the score that occurred most frequently. It can be used for qualitative and quantitative data, not affected by the extreme values, and it may not exist. When do we use the different measures of central tendency? For the mean, distribution is not badly skewed, then we can use it. And when greatest stability is sought, we also use mean and the last one to compute other statistical tests. For the median, we use this if we want to get the exact midpoint of the distribution to seek for the extreme scores which would affect the score and scores that fall near above or below the median. And the last one, we have the mode. It is used when we need for a quick or approximate measure of central tendency. How do we solve for the mean? First, we solve for the CM or the class midpoint which is represented by X. We then solve for the FX by multiplying the frequency 8 with the CM that is 88. That's why we have the result 704. Then we do the same with the other rows and finally we solve for the summation of FX. Adding them all, that makes it 3,640. Then, we look for the CF button. Uh, you can see there the 4. We get that from the bottom of the frequency that is 4. Then, we add 4 by 3. That makes it 7. And we go the same process until we reach 50. Then, after which, we can now solve for the mean by substituting the value to the formula. So, we have 3,640 divided by 50. And the result for that is 72.80. This time, we will solve for the median. The first step in doing that is identifying the median, median class by uh, dividing the n, which is 50 by 2. So that's why the highlighted row here, 71 to 75, is the median class because if we, we fill to the CF, the CF there is 30. Our median n divided by 2, which is 25, belongs to 30. The moment we have that, then we can identify the lower boundary, and that is 70.5, and now we can now substitute to the formula. So that's why we have 50 divided by 2 minus 21. 21 is the CF less than, which is under the 
class median and we have to divide that by the FM or the frequency of the median which is 9 and then multiply it by the interval that is 5. If we do the mathematical computation, we will arrive now to the answer that is 72.72. .72. How do we solve for the mode? We identify first the model class. So here, looking at the table, the highest frequency there is 10. So the highlighted there is what we call the model class. So to solve for that, we can now appropriate it using the formula here presented. So we have the delta 1 and delta 2. Delta 1 there is simply looking at the highest mode frequency, which is 10. We then subtract that 4. And that is what we call the delta 1. And delta 2 is simply by subtracting 10 minus 9. We do the mathematical computation, multiply it by the interval 5, that makes it 69.79. So mode is the easiest mathematical computation that you can compute. So in summary, we learned that mean is the most common measure of central tendency. And then, we also learned that Michan is the point that divides the scores in the distribution into two equal parts and that mode refers to the scores that occurred most frequently in the distribution. So for the references of this presentation, we have this one. Thank you very much for watching.